the RBS-15 Mk-3 guided anti-ship missile. This guided missile is the main armament of German corvettes and can be used against ships and ground targets. In La Beu, on the east shore of the Kieler Förde, is one of the German Navy's largest ammunition depots. Warships can moor on either side of a pier, about 100 meters in length, to be supplied with ammunition. The Corvette Erfurt is deploying for target practice off the Norwegian coast. At the Labeur depot, it will be loaded with the ammunition for this deployment. A safety briefing on the correct handling of ammunition is part of the mandatory onboard routine when bunkering or refueling. In the firing range above the Arctic Circle, in the north of Norway, the objective is to practice live firing guided missiles. The Airfoot is loaded with RBS-15 Mk-3 anti-ship missiles. Here it's delivered in a container as a complete system, but it can be taken apart at the test sites, the recertification facilities. It's then repacked and transported to our facility, the Labeur ammunition depot, where it's stored. The projectile, almost five meters in length, is shipped ready for use in its transport container. It's also fired from this container. Its total weight, approximately 1.7 tons. The RBS-15 anti-ship missile is the main armament of the state-of-the-art Braunschweig-class corvettes. In addition to live missiles, the Navy also uses so-called telemetry versions. Instead of a warhead, these have a suite of sophisticated sensors that analyze a large quantity of data about the missile's behavior during test firings in real time. The German Navy uses the third version of the RBS-15 missile, which was produced as part of a German-Swedish partnership. A fourth generation is already in development. The launch container with the missile is mounted on one of the Airfoot's two launch racks. It is then connected via data cable to the combat information center located deep below deck. The weapon is now ready for use. The RBS-15 is nearly 4.5 meters long and half a meter in diameter. It weighs around 800 kilograms. The warhead accounts for 250 kilos of that. The missile is propelled by two solid boosters and one turbojet engine. These help it reach around Mach 0.9 or approximately 1,100 kilometers per hour. The missile is guided to the target by GPS satellite navigation, with active radar homing for its final approach. All of the Corvette's main weapons are operated from the warship's combat information center. Here, all of the available information is brought together. All the obtained data is used to build up a detailed overview of the situation. And in a combat situation, the order for the individual weapon systems to fire is given. The missile receives its target data from the operator in the combat information center, then the fire button is pressed, the signal is passed to the missile, and it leaves its launch container. The first watch officer on board, commanding from the combat information center, is responsible for the launch of the weapon. Two solid boosters fire the guided missile out of the launch container and propel it to more than 850 kilometers per hour. This means it takes less time for the turbojet cruise engine to push the missile to its attack speed of more than 1,000 kilometers per hour, almost impervious to any electronic or pyrotechnic defenses an enemy might employ. Another benefit of this guided missile, as used by the Navy on German corvettes, is that it can also fly low above the surface. This makes it relatively difficult to track. 
The missile uses an onboard radar and an inertial navigation system in combination with GPS navigation data. This enables several missiles to attack simultaneously from different directions and altitudes. That, of course, is also part of the idea. The more of these you fire at the target, the more are guided to the target properly, the harder it is to defend against them. To make it harder to detect and defend against, the missile emits weaker and weaker radar pulses as it gets closer to its target. Its exact range is classified, but it's estimated that the RBS-15 Mk-3 can destroy targets more than 200 kilometers away. These would primarily be enemy warships, costing hundreds of millions of euros. But the anti-ship missile can also be used against targets on land. Examples might be anti-aircraft positions or communications centers. All of these are high-value targets that play particularly important roles in a military conflict, the loss of which can significantly weaken the opponent. The GBU-48, a smart bomb. Equipped with a laser homing head and steering fins, the bomb, once dropped, glides to the target with pinpoint accuracy.